Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I'm covering Below Deck Med Reunion Part 1. Did you know that there are more than one part? I didn't. I don't think they've ever done that in Below Deck Med. I thought it was interesting. I can't wait to get into it. I can't wait to talk about it with you guys and get your thoughts on it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island, like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So we see most of the crew here. Laura, of course, is not, Lara, is not here um, because she's <laughs> the demon. And uh, Pete's not here because he's a racist. So uh, we proceed with the rest of the crew. So we'll be joining the next episode, it sounds like. So I thought it was pretty good. A little bit uh, aggravating. I thought Captain Sandy was just... She was there with her prepared answers. She knew she was going to take it on the chin this this reunion. And so she had her book of prepared answers. And instead of actually listening to what people were saying, I felt like she was just ready to go. I thought, um, you know, I'm not a big Hannah fan. We know this. Uh, but I thought she handled herself well. She obviously is very pissed still about uh, everything, which, you know, you would be, especially if you got accused of taking drugs. But uh, I thought she was interesting to watch. Malia is pissed and ready for a fight. Jessica already piping up. What does she have to add to anything? That's my question. What is happening? Even Rob said, oh, you're starting already, I see. So then we see where everybody's at. Sandy's in Colorado. We got Hannah in Australia, eight months pregnant. Malia is in London with Tom the Weasel. Uh, Kiko is in Martinique, lucky. And Bugs is in the Bahamas. Jess is in Miami, Florida. Alex is in Long Island. He's always flirting with Andy and that cracks me up. Uh, Rob is in West Palm, Florida, not too far from Jess. Hmm. So right out of the gate, we talk about Laura and Laura versus Hannah. And I forgot what a monster Laura was. So, of course, Laura quit. And then they get Bugs as the second. And Andy announces that Laura was given the opportunity to come back. But she said, given the way she was portrayed, she, no, she wouldn't come back. Really? The way she was portrayed? I don't think so. I don't think you can fake being that much of a bitch. Sandy says if she had known how bad Laura was going to be, she would have fired her. If she had known how bad Laura was, she would have fired her. She wants professionals. I think we saw something in Captain Sandy this season where the fame, I'm using that in quotation marks, went to her head. I think she was all about screen time for herself, and she liked... The idea of kicking a, or having drama storylines. She does not like Hannah. We know that. So somebody picking on Hannah would not only make a good storyline uh, where she could step in and intervene, but it would also mess with Hannah. And I think she loved that. Then Andy asks, why were you mad with laundry when stews are down a person? The captain said, laundry is something that shouldn't get behind. Uh, Jess has a lack of experience and... She let it get behind, but then when Bugs stepped in and showed her how to get on it, it wasn't behind again. So I put in my notes, oh, okay, so Hannah didn't show her. So, <laughs> of course, that comes out later. Hannah kind of says the same thing. I'm going to say that Jess was a lousy third stew, and she let her relationship dictate everything. That's all that consumed her. She couldn't focus on anything else. We saw it ourselves on camera. So I'm going to guess that probably had something to do with it. Uh, the captain even said maybe it was a relationship with Rob. And Jess said, my relationship with Rob had nothing to do with the laundry. Yeah, it did. We saw you guys like making out there every chance you got. Or fighting in there. Or you pouting in there. 
Then Andy says, Malia, you had Hannah's back, but when Bugs came on, you vented to her about Hannah. Malia says, I think it's difficult. Bugs is a chief stew and my friend, so if I can't vent to ha Hannah, she's my next option. And Andy says, Hannah, what's your reaction to this? Nothing. Here's my thought on Malia on this reunion. I think she is very much the same person we saw this season that got all the hate, that threw Hannah under the bus. I think she's a kiss-ass to Captain Sandy, and I think Captain Sandy loves that about her. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't think she adds anything to the season, so I'm, I'm ready to move on from Malia. Uh, some of you guys told me that there's reports saying that she's signed back on. I hope that's not true, but, um, yeah, we'll see. Bugs, do you agree that Hannah wasn't herself this season? Bugs says, there's a huge difference. I didn't think Hannah wanted to be there. So that's where I got frustrated with Hannah. That's, I, I, I actually have noticed that for several seasons. She's over it. She angrily mutters under her breath when she walks away. She's not a good leader. I actually, I know you guys, some of you don't like Bugsy. I love Bugsy. Um, and I thought... I thought Bugsy was spot on the last time she was on when she told Hannah, you're not a good leader. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that to your boss. I get it. I get why people wouldn't like that or wouldn't like her. But uh, I, don't, I just, I think she's, I think Bugs is spot on. I think Hannah's not been in it for a very long time. Do you all feel like Malia went to Captain Sandy too much to solve her problems? Hannah says, I don't think she did. If I had that I'd be doing it as well, so I understand. Again, I did get both of them. Yeah, she did do that too much. I, I get it. She was trying to learn, but uh, that was that's a bit much, I thought. I thought she went to her quite a bit, and Captain Sandy was happy, happy to have her. You were quick to help Malia when she was dealing with an insubordinate deckhand, but when Hannah was dealing with an insubordinate stew, you didn't take the time to help her. Why not? Captain said, well, Malia came to me. Hannah didn't do that. Hannah says, I came to you and told you Laura put her hands on me during an altercation. Andy says, uh, didn't Sandy sit you guys down and try to advocate for you? Hannah says, she sat us down and was trying to play referee between the two of us. Captain says, I wasn't playing referee. I was listening to both sides of the story. I'm a captain. I'm there to make sure... Everyone can do their job. She says this a lot. I'm the captain. Well, no shit. She loves, be I, I, my personal opinion, she loves the camera time. So she was more than happy to sit down with them. And if she could also make Hannah look incompetent while doing that, then win-win for her. Hannah, did it bother you that Malia was Sandy's favorite? And Hannah says, nope, I'm used to it. It didn't bother me. Year after year, this happens. And... Uh, Andy says, year after year, what? Hannah says, Sandy has someone that's her favorite. And it, it just doesn't matter anymore. Captain says, it blows me away that someone assumes they know me. You know, again, I'm not a Hannah fan, but I agree. This has always bugged me about Captain Sandy. Do you remember that asshat, Jawow? Jawow, Jawow. Uh, I never cared for him. I, I just, his attitude sucked. I just... I, he was so cocky and full of himself, and ugh, I just didn't like him. But um, Captain Sandy sure did. Any chance she got, she'd, like, huddle up next to him, let him drive the boat in, make a big deal over him. It was weird. She definitely has her favorites. Now, this part was interesting to me. I was kind of blown away by this. Andy asks Hannah, what is it Sandy doesn't like about you? Hannah says, well, Sandy watched season one, came up with her version of what she didn't like, and within the first few minutes of meeting me, she talks about a scene from the first season where she didn't like me. Oh, so that's interesting. She had really researched and decided she didn't like Hannah and used a scene from the first season against her. That's pretty messed up. So Andy basically asked her, did you do that? Why did you do that? And Captain said, well, it looked terrible. I haven't thought about that scene for years, but she didn't deny that she did it. That's interesting and gives us more of an insight into what's going on in, with Sandy. She is a fame whore. And then we got into the Kiko of it all and seeing him in this reunion. Oh my gosh. 
he's even nicer than I remember. He was such a nice guy. And coming on the heels of Tom, like, it's unbelievable how nice he is. It's, it's, he's just such a, he's such a nice guy. It's just not something you see very often, especially, you know, in the chef position on the boat. It's interesting. Um, so Kiko does a great job here. He admits he was in over his head and, but he's lovely about it. He says he doesn't, he, he basically doesn't hold a grudge against any of them. It's his own fault. He took total responsibility and it just makes me love Kiko even more. I'd eat Kiko's nachos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner before I'd eat anything that that prick Tom made. The thing that bugged me about the Kiko segment was they didn't really address how much of a double standard it was, especially on Malia's part. Did we see Malia in the kitchen hardly at all during Kiko's part? No, we didn't. But as soon as Tom got there, oh, don't worry, the other deck crew can run everything outside. It's fine. I'll be inside being Tom's sous chef. I'll help him however he needs, with whatever he needs. We'll get on the phone to figure out new provisions. We'll do anything for him. But Kiko, nope, you're on your own, buddy. Wouldn't you think that the one that was had the more training, Tom, would be able to do it on his own versus Kiko, who might have needed a little more help? You know, wouldn't that be the time to help? Just thought. So it's brought up how Sandy was berating Kiko in front of other staff members and bully him and crush him and then fire him and yet expect him to stay on board and continue to cook. And the captain said, I kept it light. I kept getting asked if he was getting fired. I had three hours of sleep. I have a boat to run. Sandy, you hovered. You hovered and micromanaged the entire season. And now you're trying to say, oh no, I had to be down there. I was so tired. I wasn't thinking. I have so much to do. Bullshit. So then we get into the Hannah of it all. And Andy asks, Hannah, did you really have food poisoning during the crew day off? Or were you unwilling to hang out with the crew without Kiko? Hannah said, oh no, I had food poisoning. I ended up at the hospital that night. And Malia, what did you think about her work ethic? Did it start to slide? And Malia says, I think by Hannah's own admission, yeah, multiple times, she said she hates this job. She doesn't want to be there. Yawning isn't her thing anymore. And it started to show. I do agree with Malia there. That's how I felt about Hannah as well. Jess says, isn't that hard to judge from outside the boat? And Bug said, um, hello. She's talking about watching the scenes back. And Jess is like, okay. Jess is just looking for a fight. Especially with Rob, it sounds like. Uh, Hannah says, I think what happened is I had such a great interior season four. And, and then I wasn't sure if I want to come back or continue to do it. I started off the season having Laura. And it made me realize, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Bugs says, so by the time I came in, you were done. Hannah says, well... I was still very much looking after the guests and doing my job. I just wasn't interested in crew night out. I just wanted to get my paycheck. So Sandy latches onto this. This is what she's been saying the whole time. And Hannah's been reluctant to admit it, but it was interesting to hear her say it there. We all knew it. Yeah, she's just there for a paycheck. She's over it. Kind of the same thing Kate Chastain just went through. She's over it. Then they brought up the whole Malia making everybody switch cabins thing. Sandy, why did you not go talk to Hannah before announcing uh, it on the walkie-talkies? Shouldn't you have pulled her aside and let her know where you're coming from? Sandy says, captains don't deal with room assignments. First officer does it. Uh, it came to the bridge and it irritated me. So Hannah's like, whoa, 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 you gave this job to me. And then basically you let Malia take it away from me. And what's interesting is I know... You know, I, I get it's a reality show, so who knows what really goes on. But every season of Below Deck, it has been the chief stew that does room assignments. I've, I've seen so many times Kate says, you're rooming with her, you're rooming with him, that sort of thing. And same thing with Hannah. So I was surprised to hear it's the first mate's job. That's the first time we've, our first officer's job. That's the first time we're hearing about that. Malia says, there's no clear cut answer about this. We were all being precious. It got blown out of proportion. Yeah, that's because you wanted to room with your boyfriend. 
Malia, if Hannah and Bugs had agreed to the room swap, would you still turn Hannah in? Malia says, yeah, of course. Andy says, really? I have to f say the viewers found the timing of this right after the room switch fight very suspicious. And then they, he says, okay, first let's discuss the photo itself. Hannah, why didn't you remember to have the prescription logged in? And Hannah says, it was a mistake. I didn't log it. Andy said, hey, Sandy, can you talk about the dangers? And Captain says, well, the law is all meds have to be logged. The crew have to be able to do life-saving job, uh, have to do a job in a life-saving capacity. Basically, they can't be all messed up on Valium. But my first thought is they get all messed up on crew nights out all the, all the time. Is it different? <laughs> I guess they're not usually out at sea when that happens. Maybe that's the difference. So, I don't know. I don't. This one's tough. I She let, um, what's his name from last season? Was it Jack? It wasn't Jack. It was the other one. From last season, stay completely trashed. And she even caught Jack and the other guy drinking in their rooms while at, at Charter. And uh, an alarm was going off, and she didn't fire him. So, I don't know. I think it's convenient when it's convenient. And the last thing they talked about is Han Andy said, Hannah, you said it was a CBD pen. But then they reached out to the manufacturer and blah, 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 and ended up being a um, THC pen, not CBD. And Hannah says the cartridge was CBD. So I don't know about all that. It sounds like it was THC. I mean, whatever. But uh, I don't know. I think we're getting away from the fact that Malia took the picture, and that's pretty shitty. When we get a peek into next week's episode, Malia, do you regret Tom joining? It's Rob and Aisha, and Jess talks about inappropriate DMs between them. Ah, Jess is just jealous. Um, like, insanely jealous. Uh, we get into maritime law, so, you know, again, we need to discuss that. And it's Jess versus Rob, so I personally can't wait for that showdown. I don't know who I'm rooting for less. But uh, that is it for the episode. What did you guys think? What did you think of the reunion? I was surprised that it was two parts, but that's cool. Maybe it'll give us more time to get into stuff. Um, and, yeah, that's it. So tell me in comments below, what did you think of this episode? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic week. And check out all my other shows. I'm recapping all kinds of stuff. And I got more new shows coming. So check back a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the comments. I read every single one of them. And you can comment down below. You can give me a thumbs up. You can reach me on Twitter at Real Recaps. And thank you guys so much for everything. And I will talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.